When it comes to building a battery pack, lithium ion cells are one of the best choice without a doubt. But if you get them from old laptop batteries, then you might want to consider doing a capacity test before building the battery pack. So today I will show you how you can make a lithium ion capacity tester using an Arduino. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They are known for high quality PCB prototype manufacturing. They can not only provide you 2 layer PCB but also 4 layer and the 6 layer PCB as well. Upload your Gerber files to get high quality and the professional looking PCBs. The main benefit for opting this option is the insanely low prices that is only $2 for the 2 layered PCB. I have received my PCB just after the one week of the order and I have to say they are one of the best I have ever seen. Check out the JLC PCB link is in the video description. Before building the capacity tester we must know what is capacity. Unit for the capacity is milliamp hour or amp hour. If you take a look at any lithium ion cell they will mention its capacity on it as this one mentions 2600 milliampers on it. Basically what this means if we connect a load across it which draws 2.6 ampere then this battery would last for a hour. Similarly if I have a 1000 milliampere battery and I connect a load across it and if it draws 2 ampere from it it would last for 30 minutes. And this is what an ampere or milliampere means. But this is practically not possible because we all know voltage equals current times resistance. Initially battery voltage will be 4.2 volts and if I keep the resistance constant there will be some current flowing through the load. But over the time battery voltage will decrease and so does our current. This will make our calculation much difficult than expected because we will need to measure the current time for every instance. Now to perform all this calculation, here we will use an Arduino which will measure the current, time and the voltage, process the information and in the end give us the capacity. Then I started gathering all the components which are needed for this project. The first thing we obviously need is an Arduino. Then to display the information we are going to use an OLED display, IRFZ44N N channel MOSFET, a couple of 10K resistor and a 10 ohm 5 watt power resistor. And here is how this circuit works. First the Arduino measures the voltage drop created by the 10 ohm resistor. If it is higher than 4.3 volts, it will turn off the MOSFET and display high voltage. And if it is less than 2.9 volts, it will display the low voltage. And if it is between 4.3 volts and 2.9 volts, it will turn on the MOSFET and the battery will start discharging through the resistor and measure the current using the ohms law and it uses the millis function to measure the time during that period and gives us the capacity. Then I started the soldering process on the PCBs which I ordered online from jlcpcb.com and if you want to make this project you can find the part list, schematic, program and the Gerber files on instructables. Link is in the video description. After the soldering when I connected the power, sometimes OLED screen does not work as expected. But disconnecting the power and connecting it again, it starts working. This could possibly be the problem because I forgot to add the pull up resistor which are required by the I2C bus interface of the Arduino. So I went back to the code and utilized the Arduino's built in pull up resistor which solved the problem. And speaking about the accuracy of this tester, it is quite close I would say because my reading on the multimeter and the OLED are quite close. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.